What's up YouTube? This is Mikoji Crypto. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Ethereum, specifically ETH slash USDT. And I'm going to try to find us exactly what's happening with Ethereum. Uh, we recently just had a, a small pullback for Ethereum, and I'm going to try to determine how far the pullback could be, or is this just a continuation pattern to go a lot higher? Okay, so I'll figure that out right now, and I'll figure out how we can capitalize on this move in the next coming minutes. So on that note, let's get started. Hey guys, so we'll take a look at Ethereum and we'll try to understand what's happening with Ethereum right now. Um, Ethereum, we understand, is very, very bullish. We can see that Ethereum has been bullish for, since what? October? October 2020? October, November, December. January, February, March, April, May, so like six, seven months, just bullishness, green candles every single month for Ethereum, which is great for Ethereum. We're making all time highs on the weekly aspect. We can see that Ethereum right now is hitting the 10 moving average. The has been respected, which is this purple line over here. And we, every time we've hit this purple line, we've had moves towards the upside. Now, uh, Ethereum is having a slight pullback on the weekly aspect. And if we close like this on the weekly aspect and we close the next what a day in the next 23 hours or so what 20, 20 hours. If we close like this in 20 hours, then uh, this will be our first red candle since the past 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the past 6 weeks, this would have been our first red candle. Now, I'll try to figure out uh, a few things over here. And we can see that this purple line over here has significance as a 10 moving average on the weekly. So I'll draw my uh, Fibonacci retracement tool from the bottom to the top. And I'll mark off the 50 and the 618 over here, right? So this is the 50 and the 618. This region right here. And the 50 and the 618 coincides really nicely with the purple line over here which is that 10 moving average which we respected many times in the past towards the upside now uh, that is one area that i marked up i'm not saying we'll go there but i'm just trying to make sense of uh, what's happening right now so we have this the 10 moving average we go to the daily aspect and the daily aspect we can see over here that we've really been hugging this 10 this 20 and this 50 moving average towards the upside we've done it over here a bunch of times right we did it over here, we did it over here, we hugged it, we came back down. We did the same thing over here. So that yellow line does have significance. And uh, every time you come down, we've hit these areas, we've made moves towards the upside. Right now, we are, it looks like we're trying to go to that yellow line. We have broken underneath the purple line, the 10 moving average. And it looks like we're attempting to go towards that yellow line. What I'll do over here is I'll mark up some structure, okay? So as you see, as, as we've been going towards the upside, we haven't been going straight up. We've been going down, consolidating, making moves towards the upside, coming back down, consolidating, and doing the same thing. Over here, in fact, we had a small little structure, this little red structure over here. We broke the red structure, we made higher highs. Right now as well, we're making another structure over here where we are we're just hitting the top area and we have a support zone underneath us. So we could be making another uh, wedge structure as well, similar to what we were doing over here. We could be doing that as well over here. That's what the daily looks like at least, okay? I'll go on to the four hourly aspect to get a better idea. Yeah, so the four hourly aspect has um, something like this happening right now, which is a inverse, sorry, not inverse, a head and shoulders, right? So we have a potential head and shoulders also happening over here. And this is this is a, this is a bearish uh, candlestick pattern. This is a shoulder, that's a head, that's another shoulder. But it's only validated as a head and shoulders if we break underneath. That's only when it's validated. And our target for this area, if we do break underneath, will put us down at the 618 region. And as I pointed out at the 618 region, that's where, what did I say? That purple line comes up, right? The purple line over here, the 10 ma which is a significant moving average on the weekly aspect, that area comes up over here. And this will be our first week of reddish momentum if we close like this in the next 20 hours. So if we do break underneath this support zone, this will result in a validation of a um, head and shoulders, which means we have a, a chance of coming down to that region. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, Ethereum is extremely bullish. It's extremely bullish. Um, but, I mean, if, you, if people are predicting 8,000 Ethereum, 10,000 Ethereum, then won't you think that a pullback would be necessary in order to go there? Uh, to me, it would make sense in order to have a deeper pullback, in order to get, grab some more liquidity, a healthy pullback in order to go higher, and a pullback that... Um, we have been doing many times in the past, right? We've hit this purple line many times in the past. We're quite overextended past that 10 moving average, which is the purple line. So pullback is not a bad thing. And if, if this pullback happens, I'm not saying it will, but if it happens, this would be an excellent buying opportunity for Ethereum. And that puts us approximately at 2,000, but let's say 3,000, 
which is the 50 and underneath that that will be the 2600 or 2700 okay that's where we put us and uh, based off the um this head and shoulders as well that's where the target would take us as well it takes us to 3000 so anywhere from 2600 to 3000 dollars that's where this um that's where the target takes us right now for ethereum this head and shoulders target now we could easily do this. We could easily have an invalidation as well, as I said earlier, right? We could have an invalidation. We could be having a, a wedge structure. And uh, this is another scenario that could happen. A break and a retest to continue towards the upside. Okay, so these are two scenarios right now. A, a potential wedge with an invalidation of the head and shoulders, a break and retest to go higher, a potential head and shoulders validated in order to go to these regions, the 50. And the 618, I'll just say the 50 for now, which will coincide with the weekly, um, this, with the, coincide with the weekly 10 moving average. So this is where I see right now what uh, Ethereum is doing. And if you look at the four hour aspect, we can see the moving averages. We're having crossovers of the 10, the 20, the 50 on the four hour, it's happening right now. The hourly already has it. The 10, the 20, the 50 moving average crossovers, right? So we're having some bearishness over here, but again, we have to react rather than be predictive. And right now, I'll be reacting. If we break above and come back with the retest, this will be a continuation pattern to go much higher for Ethereum towards the upside. If we don't end up doing that, and I will tell you the target as well, in fact. So if we break above our target for Ethereum, let's say we break above over here, our target for Ethereum will be 4,600, 4,640. If we break below, uh, just based off the wedge structure and based off the uh, head and shoulders as well, if we break below, then this will put us over here at the 50, which is approximately at $3,000 for Ethereum. So we have to react rather than predict, and uh, this is what I'm going to do right now in the near future. And uh, I'm just waiting to see what happens, because at, at the end of the day, Ethereum is very bullish, and uh, we just need small pullbacks in order to go higher. And that's how we're moving so far. We're having these small little pullbacks in order to go higher and higher and higher as of now. So, I mean, a consolidation would be an excellent buying opportunity for Ethereum if you missed out on the massive bull run in the past, right? So we have a pullback enter buy low sell high that's the uh, end of the game at the end of the day again so thank you for watching and uh, have a good night guys oh, actually you know what I, I forgot to give you a summary i usually give you a two minute summary so i'll give you the summary right now and uh, we'll take a look at it right now so again uh, just a quick recap or a quick summary i'll keep it under two minutes Ethereum right now is making a series of higher highs and higher lows. We are respecting this 10 moving average, which is this purple line. We are currently overextended from the 10 moving average, which is the purple line. If I use that Ichimoku cloud, we can see, we most likely see that we're overextended past the cloud as well. These are all signs that we have, we need a pullback to these areas in order to go higher. Now, this purple line will come approximately over here. This is how it moved towards the upside. On the daily aspect, if we take a look at the daily aspect, we can see that we have two possibilities. We have a possibility of a wedge, or we have a possibility of an inverse head and shoulders. Right now, it looks like, or an inverse uh, head and shoulders. Right now, it looks like we're rejecting this shoulder over here. If we break through, this would uh, validate the head and shoulders, which it looks like this, in fact. Right, it's like this. It will validate the head and shoulders to go lower to these regions, which is the 15 and the 618. That's approximately $3,000 per Ethereum. If we break above, then this will put us at approximately $4,637 per Ethereum then that would be the invalidation of the head and shoulders. And this will be the validation of the head and shoulders. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a good night. Bye.